Mike's advanced strategies start with a simple idea. If you knew what your opponent had in their hand, you would win more and lose less. Well, if you pay close attention, other players may actually tell you what they have in their hand. Tells are anything a player does or doesn't do that clues you in on what they're holding. When you master tells, it's like you're wearing a pair of x-ray goggles at the table. It's hard to lose. Mike's 10 ultimate tells are reliable. But be careful, there is the occasional exception to the rule, as there is with every part of any poker strategy. Before you sit down at the table, take a look around. There are a number of things you can pick up about the personality of a player before any cards are dealt. Mike's first tell says that the method of stacking chips determines a player's personality. A messy stack indicates a loose player, and a neat stack indicates a tight player. Your opponents who put their chips in neat little stacks like these are usually conservative players. They're not looking to bluff a lot. So you do not expect them to be wild and rambunctious. And they won't bluff as much and you shouldn't call them expecting them to have weak hands. Now conversely, if a player just doesn't care very much about how their chips appear, that's probably a loose player who's willing to gamble. Mike's second tell says that if a player makes a messy bet, then they take the time to clean it up. They are usually bluffing. So what happens? If the player is bluffing, he doesn't want to do anything to trigger what I call your calling reflex. The assumption is that everybody comes into the game wanting to call. This player, if he's bluffing, thinks that his bet, not being neat, might trigger your suspicions. So when you see it go like this, whoop, and he straightens that stack, that usually was a bluff, and he's trying to cover up for it to make it look less suspicious, less inviting. That's a bluff. Mike's third tell says that how a player buys chips is a sure sign of how they will play. Hey, can I get some chips? Chips! Yo. When a player makes a big show of buying chips, that's a true indication of how they might play. They're probably going to play very aggressively and they're going to be loose with their betting. But if a player comes out of his wallet like this, hardly wants to show chips, that's usually a cautious and conservative player. Most tells are visual hints, but keep your ears open because you can save yourself some money if you hear what Mike calls poker clack. Yeah, it's one word and it goes like this. What does it mean? It's a sad sound. And when you hear it in a poker game, it usually is an act. It means that player actually made a hand. So listen very carefully. When they look at their card coming on the flop at the very last card, here it comes. Whenever you hear that, that means they made their hand. They're trying to seem sad, but they're really happy. Hold everything and listen up. When the flop comes, ignore your instincts and don't look at it. If you're watching this flop, you're making one of the biggest mistakes in Hold'em. Don't watch the flop. Watch your opponents watch the flop. That flop will still be there later. And if you're watching it now, you'll be missing some of the most profitable tells in the game. Something as simple as where the players look after a flop can reveal the strength of their hand. Tell number five says that players that look away from the flop have strong hands and players that stare at the flop or their cards have a weak hand. There's the flop. They, here it comes, they look at it and then immediately away. That means they like that flop. This happens quite frequently. The player wants to see what the flop is and as soon as he recognizes that he likes it, he wants to seem uninterested. So what does he do? Looks away, it looks like this. When you see that, you know that player has made something. 
Mike's sixth tell says that if a player glances at his chips after a card is revealed, he probably has a big hand. That glance at the chips clues you in that they're thinking about betting. Why else would they do it? When you see this, that means that player liked the flop. Lucky tell number seven says, if the player checks the whole cards after the flop, they're probably checking for suited cards. Players usually remember the ranks of their cards, but not necessarily the suits. When they have to double check, it's usually to see if they have one of that suit. So watch out for your opponent's possible flush. In fact, Mike says that checking your cards can be like giving money away. One of the best things you can do is always memorize your cards. You should never look back at your cards because looking back at your cards can give clues to your opponent. So remember them, look once, then put a chip on top of them, protect them, and never look again. Practice doing that. That will save you money. A shoulder shrug or sigh or any action that indicates sadness usually means that player has strong cards. They are simply acting to try to get you to call. I bet. Never call that bet. That's a strong hand. His sadness is meant to deceive you. Be careful. Many people misread tell number nine. You see someone acting more nervous than usual, and you might think he's nervous about bluffing. The opposite is true. Mike Schloss says that nervous betting usually accompanies a strong hand. The player is nervous, so that player must be bluffing. Wrong! That player is never bluffing. If a player is nervous, when they bet, they bolster themselves. They look so rigid. See? Nervousness is not about a bluff. Nervousness is always a release of tension if it comes on suddenly. If a player was previously pretty steady and suddenly begins to shake, that's a release of tension. I was going for the straight flush and now that pot is mine. It's a natural reaction and it's never a bluff. Ready to put your opponents to the test? Try Mike's 10th secret of tells. A lot of times you don't really know if your opponent is bluffing or not. But you know, there's a secret way to find out. As your player begins to bet, simply reach for your chips. Your opponent, if he has a strong hand, is going to hurry his bet in there because he sees you starting to call and he doesn't want you to change your mind. But an opponent who is bluffing is going to hesitate. He's going to back down and look back and think it over. It's going to startle him. There'll be a pause before he bets. So try to prevent that bet just by reaching toward your chips. If your opponent responds by rushing his bet in, he likes the fact that you might call and doesn't want you to change your mind. But if he hesitates, you've unnerved him and he's likely to be bluffing. If you're lucky enough to spot one of these tells, you've gained a huge advantage over your opponent. Exploit that advantage and never tell anyone that you picked up on a tell. If you do, that player will stop doing it and you've lost your advantage. Stay tuned until the end of the program when we'll tell you how you can learn even more of Mike's tips, tricks, and techniques for owning the table. You've now unlocked the secrets to the ultimate game of strategy and manipulation, Texas Hold'em.